In this video, I'm just gonna talk about like how we can add custom payment gateway in your WordPress website. If you can add P perfect money, pair, web money, or any other payment gateway or anything else, then you can easily add using this plugin in your website. To install the plugin, you have to just click on here, plugins, then add new and then just drag and drop here okay so drag and drop here just here then just click on install now button mainly this is not like in a free plugin it's in a paid plugin um just click on active plugin this one then this plugin will be activated and this plugin is coming from wp ruby i mean if you just search in google um about this woocommerce custom payment gateway um Pro, then you will get this plugin. It's also have a free option, but mainly now currently I'm doing pro um, pro plugin. Now I'm currently using it. So when it's done, then let's go to here custom payment gateway, like in here. Just click on this button. So you will get this here only custom payment pro like this one. So to add the new payment gateway, you have to put here the name. For example, I want to add here so I just type here and just click on save changes button so when you do it then you have to go to here this configure button to do configure so now we have to do a little bit setup in here for example now I'm just going to turn on this uh, this custom payment getaway and after this we have to type here the pay method title so it's going to be the pair and getaway icon so to now we have to upload an uh, image for this getaway so I already download here pair. Okay, so pair is not available, I think. Let me go to Google pair. Okay, so it's gonna be the pair icon. So I'm um, just search here pair icon. Okay, so here is it. Okay, so let me find out more or something. So I think this is gonna be perfect because there is no wide space. But if you see the previous one, it's have a little bit of space in the top and bottom. So I download it now. Let's go back, drag and drop here the file that you recently download and just copy it and go back and paste here the link that you copy all right so now we have to type in a customer message so now i'm just going to remove here all the ticks and just going to paste here this and now i'm just going to type here pair pair account number so now in here we'll put our pair number so like this something like whatever you have in the pair number just put your num number and also type please complete your pair pair payment at first then fill up the form below that's it and after this uh, when someone just make order then what will be the order status now I'm just making it to on hold that means when someone use this gateway this order will be the hold and now it's here some of the option what you basically need for for this payment gateway if you need the number to know this you can you can just tell them hey uh, put here your number right it's have the number option say so just put your number or if you wanna only need the transaction ID then you can say okay you just need to put the transaction ID that's it so in this case I just really need the transaction ID so I don't relate anything so let me type here transaction ID so transaction ID oh I was typed something wrong I think um, okay so where is this is looks perfect so let's copy come here and just paste it transaction ID so this is gonna be the transaction ID and here's the API thing so we don't really need API because we are just going to make it custom right like manual something um that's it and here is the description if you want to put something like um okay this type of thing mainly description means like something it's like a demo something but okay i'm just going to make it empty and just make it save changes and since we enable this payment gateway so if you go to here this payments then you will get to see that like peer it's now enable so the peer is enable so now let's go back to our store and let's see if it's really work or not but one thing we forget to do it like in this video you see that we use the currency ex uh, switcher right so let me set up this um, onto this currency switcher. Let's go to the currency. Uh, let's go to the payment. And here is the pair. It's gonna be the USD version. Oh, let's save it. 
Now I'm just gonna make it safe. So if you don't know about this currency switcher, then I will give this video link in my description so you can also watch this video, then you will understand why I'm just doing this. Um, now let me go to here and the product. Uh, let's make it add. Okay, right now it's the BDT, so I'm just gonna make it EUSD. And now let's go to here this card and let's go to the checkout. I'll, as you can see, we're gonna see here this pair option. And here's your peer, peer number and people can see also the instruction what they have to do. And when the service will do the payment, they will put here this transaction ID and they will place the order. But in here something is, you know, this little bit harder. It's like every single time you have to check it, like is this in a true transaction, it's the right transaction or just something wrong. So this is mainly the problem, but it's really work. Since the peer or the perfect money, they don't really have any kind of plugin for this. So <laughs> yeah, to use this manual way. All right, so now if you just want to uh, just create a more more payment gateway like perfect money or web web money or something like. Now I'm just gonna make it um, perfect money, perfect money. Let's PM. So let's save it, and we get it the perfect money. Let's go to the configure it. Let's go to here, enable this payment gateway, and it's gonna be the perfect perfect money, right? If I'm not wrong. Now we have to this um, gateway icon. So let me go to here, this media, and click on add new. And let's just go to my fi my finder and just drag and drop here the icon that I recently download. Copy to clipboard here this link. And let's go back. Here is perfect money. Paste it. And now we have to put here the same message that it previously we add. So I'm just wanna copy it from the older one. Like go to here this manage. Um, just copy, copy, and come here to paste it. And now we have to change the text like perfect money only. So copy, pair to perfect money, and th this word will be this. And now we repeat here the account number or like this, right? And also it's gonna be the same like this um, on hold. And I'm just gonna use the text, and it's gonna be the transaction ID mainly because we just need the transaction ID. And to check it, like, is it really um, the same person or not? So now it's okay. Now let's make it safe. And when we make it safe, let's go to the currency. And just go to here, this payment. And now we have to select here the USD version. USD. And let's make it safe. So if you not use this currency switcher, then you don't need to like make it changes. If you only this setup, only if you just set up the plugin and only you just add this payment gateway, then it automatically set up. So you don't need to just go to the currency switcher. If you not using the switcher, if you're not using this, then you don't need to go there, right? Um, I mean, if you're not using this, then you can just turn on it from this payment option, like just turn on. And if you want to do manage anything, then it's just do manage from here. So we don't need to go there. So when it's done, let me go here in our checkout page. And as you can see, we get another option. It's like the perfect money with a icon. And here is the transition ID. So it's better if you just use the same size of um, image. Now it's look like bigger and this one look like a smaller. So try to use the same image. So you can use Photopia. Photopia, this one is like in Photoshop, like WebVest. So what you can do, you can just download here. Oh, we already have the image, we already have the image, so we don't need to do it. So you can say 500 into 144. Let's go to here, new. Uh, new project, you can say PM, or like something other, like a pair or something other. So whatever you're just doing it, so 44. It's like, for example, pair. Uh, let's click on create. Uh, okay, okay, I think it's something different. <laughs> I was something make wrong, it's not like that. Um, Width and height. Height gonna be the one four four. Yeah, this gonna be the perfect one. Yeah, this is the perfect one. So we don't really need any kind of background right now. So I'm just gonna turn off, turn off it, and just drag and drop here the pair, and we get something like this. And let me make it safe. Uh, let's go to here and just go to export as a PNG. Yeah, I wanna export as a PNG, and it's gonna be the 90% all right, so we get it and uh, let's go back and uh, let's go to the pair. Yeah, here is the pair And uh, let's go to change the image mainly. So let's go to the media And just drag and drop here the image 
we get it copy the link and here is the peer image just say change it and just save it so i hope guys now you understand how to update anything any data if you want then let's just reload it and if you see it's not gonna change then just clear your cache but as you can see it's now changed so we don't need to do anything else so i hope guys now it makes sense and if you have any question about it then just let me know in the comment section you know and if you really wanna get this plugin um then you can just fill up this form and just text me that i didn't need the um i just need the plugin then i will send you the link you just spend a little bit you know money or you can just text here and then get a blue pick spot in um in this page if you really want it or if you want to buy the original one then i highly recommend to you um just down download or just buy it from here i mean go to here and then you go to see this rovi it's like uh, they will charge a lot. I think almost $69. They will charge it for a single website.